Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf at the Second Swing Minnetonka location, newly renovated. I'm joined by Jay Scholval, project manager and kind of the lead guy of the new store. Uh, Jay, you know, the store is phenomenal for one. Uh, basically anything a golfer might need, they can find here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Um, just give us some insight into the process, um, what you learned about the old store, what's in the new store, and just basically what golfers are going to find here that maybe they didn't at the old store. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. Very kind. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's an exciting transition here uh, in the local market here to have our flagship location get sized up. Basically, we were sitting at about 8,000 square feet in our old location, and now we're up to 16,000, uh, 16,321, I believe is the exact total. So we're very excited to bring what's going to be a much better uh, interaction for our customers with technology, with the space that we have, more inventory, uh, and it's really going to help us out with the, uh, the busy season that's going to come ahead here. Yeah, and you mentioned the technology, so uh, the big thing here that I've noticed in my time here, 15 track man hitting bays, yep. uh, six of them reserved for tour van fittings, and then we also have nine uh, demo bays as well for customers to try out some clubs, go yep. into the bay, hit some. So what was the process like in getting 15 bays uh, ready and installed into this location? Well, that's probably the fun part, I guess. Uh, we really wanted to make that important to have the technology there to make the customer experience better. Uh, gives our fitters a, a better edge over the competition as well. And then um, as far as the space requirements go, getting them larger, I think the old store location is probably a little frustrating for customers. Mm -hmm. uh, very small, uh, compact area. But here we're looking at hitting bays that are 13 and 15 feet wide and really allows that uh, track man to pick up all flight for the needed feet that depth wise it requires. Now we're staying on the putting green. Uh, yep. Very you know, a lot larger than uh, some of the other stores for sure. Uh, certainly yep. larger than what the old store here had. Um, give us the, you know, the size of the green and yep. then maybe a, some selection of putters too. There's so many putters sitting around us here. There are, we carry, you know, every brand that you can think of new and used. So um, the space is definitely a, a, a big hit. Uh, we're looking at about 29 feet by 29 feet of space. Uh, I think we have 12 whole locations and then uh, the ability here with these fixtures to, to store hundreds of putters to make sure that they're easy for people to compare, easy for the fitters to help the customers mm -hmm. with, and uh, should really make that interaction uh, a, a lot better than the previous location that had a little 10-foot green. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then you also mentioned mm -hmm. fitters with the putting. You have a new putter mm -hmm. fitting studio yep. as well with some new technology there, so that should be an added bonus for golfers that maybe need some help on the greens. Absolutely, and not to mention one of the better fitters you're ever going right. to find in the area yeah. as well. So uh, we're definitely looking forward to that. I think that's definitely a uh, a new step up, and you know, going along the lines of technology, bringing in Quintech, being able to see uh, ball roll, camera capture, you can see everything that's going on mm -hmm. with every putt. I think that'll be a big difference as well. And so I'm looking over here at the vault now. So that's kind of where just thousands and thousands of clubs are stored. That's just one corner of the store. Yes. Uh, so give us an idea of how many clubs in total are in the store and then a little bit more about that vault area as well. Yeah, we should be able to store about 15,000 clubs in the space. And uh, we're probably a little short of that right now as we kind of bulk up for the, for the main time of year. But the vault, we try to figure out how to best get as much space as possible to get the additional clubs for that extra selection and be able to ship from our locations and all that good stuff. So uh, out of this vault space, you know, we were able to get you know, a couple hundred linear feet of mm -hmm. actually about 150-ish of vault space, which really mm -hmm. helped get us some, some club storage back there. Sure, and now I know one of the uh, other major improvements was the club building area. Uh, mm -hmm. So a lot of golfers out there want yep. their clubs customized, uh, maybe length customized, you know, lie, lie and loft and all that stuff uh, adjusted. So the club, the club building shop over there is mm -hmm. a huge upgrade and will help our uh, employees, the staff, the fitters really tune those clubs for the customers. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when it comes to uh, that type of work, I think it's kind of hard to find in a lot of areas. Not many retailers are doing that. Mm -hmm. So. You know, club regripping, reshafting. Uh, you know, every custom order that the fitters have coming in is getting spec checked. It's basically, you know, uh, what you'd call a tour level quality uh, um, shop to be able to, you know, fix and fit clubs as we need to. 
Absolutely. Well, Jay, thank you for joining mm -hmm. us today. This is great information. Minnetonka location, second swing golf has been renovated. Anything you might need as a golfer, you can stop into our Minnetonka location. We're holding a grand opening event the weekend of March 13th and 14th. Uh, so stop in and uh, check out all the great inventory, all the great selection of uh, really, again, anything you might need as a golfer uh, and get your game uh, improved. Shoot lower scores this year.